Marvelous Company, that's on page 143 of your book. So you have accounts receivable, that's 500,000. Then notes receivable, 200,000. Allowance for doubtful accounts, 20,000. Then you have sales, 5 million credit, sales returns and allowances, 30,000, and sales discount, 20,000. There are various uh, assumptions here on how we can provide for the doubtful accounts. The, uh, the requirement is to prepare the adjusting entry. The first uh, assumption is 75% of all sales are credit sales and that an average of 2% of credit sales may prove uncollectible. What approach is used here in letter A? Is this percent of sales, percent of accounts receivable, or aging of accounts receivable? What is this first uh, assumption? Percent of sales. Okay, percent of sales. Remember, if it is a percent of sales, when we multiply the rate, if we multiply the rate against the sales, ang atong makuha na niya is automatic the doubtful accounts expense. But if we multiply the rate okay, with the accounts receivable, ang makuha na itong answer ana is the required allowance. If you can still recall. So there, the required allowance here is the ending balance in our allowance for doubtful accounts. So, lahi sila. So, the first one is percent of sales. So, therefore, the amount that we'll be able to compute that is uh, the doubtful accounts. Okay. So, let's check. Wait, sa sakto ba ning multiply ani? 3. Okay. 3, 750. Okay. So, you have... Okay, ano 30 man siya. So you have the credit sales is 5 million times 75%. So 75% of all credit sales man. So you have 5 million times 75% is 3 million 750 and we multiply it by 2% so that would be 75,000 so that is our doubtful accounts expense so debit so this is 75,000 30 man 75,000 and then credit 75,000 so automatic Mauna siya at ang doubtful accounts expense. If you're asked, how much is the allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year? So, just simply add 75,000 to the existing allowance na 20,000. So, ang allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year would be 95,000. Okay. Next would be... 1% of the gross sales may prove to be uncollectible. So, 1% of the gross sales. So, the gross sales here is the 5 million. So, 5 million times 1%. Since this is also percent of sales, okay, base mentions the sales. So, automatic, you have... 50,000 ang imuhang doubtful accounts. So, that debit doubtful accounts or doubtful accounts expense credit allowance for doubtful accounts. So, how much should be the allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year? So, same process. You add 50 to 20,000. So, that would be 70,000. Next, letter C. So, this is analysis of aging and indicates that 80,000 is uncollectible. So, since this is based on accounts receivable, so the amount that we're going to 
compute after we multiply the rates with the corresponding uh, mga accounts receivable will be our required allowance. So, muna siya tong 80. But since we have existing uh, credit balance allowance for doubtful accounts nga 20, so ang kulang na lang nato nga idugang kay 60 thousand. So, debit doubtful accounts and credit allowance for doubtful accounts. If you will be asked, how much is the allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year, what would be the answer? Pilaman. How much is the allowance for doubtful accounts? Again, if the question in the problem based on this assumption would ask, how much is the allowance for doubtful accounts? What would be your answer? 80, sir. How much? 80, 80 that's 80. correct. 80, sir. Okay, correct. So, diba, ang required allowance mo na siya ang ending na allowance for doubtful accounts. Yung mga tala mo, kung sa din 60, ma'am, nag-credit man siya o 60 diri. Pero, diba, na naman tay credit daan nga 20, unya mag-credit na sa dag 60, so mahi mo siya 80. Okay? Ang doubtful accounts expense for the year would be 60. Gawa na siya ang 60. Kanipod, ang doubtful accounts expense ani, Okay, wala man siya existing balance there. So, ang answer ani is 50. Kani, ang doubtful accounts expense mo diri would be 75. So, ano na siya. Letter D. Policy is to maintain an allowance for doubtful accounts equal to 10% of the outstanding receivable. Okay, so, you have... Okay, 10% of the outstanding receivables. Diba? As a rule, if we're going to multiply the rate with the accounts receivable, so that would be uh, equivalent to the required allowance. So therefore, the, allow the accounts receivable here is 500,000 times 10%, so that would be 50,000. Then, na may existing a balance nga 20 and then na atay doubtful accounts nga 30,000. So, debit doubtful accounts, credit allowance for doubtful accounts. So, therefore, how much is our allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year? Pila may answer any? 50,000. That is 50,000. So, that's correct. And the doubtful accounts expense would be 30 thousand. Sure. Yes. Gross sales or net sales, sir? Gross sales and? Gross sales and? Net sales. Net sales, dili. Ang gross sales, kahit wala Ang net sales is with deduction. Okay, so sa given, ang gross sales, ana, is ang 5 million. Pero kung net sales atong hisgutan, Mauna siya ang gross sales minus the sales returns o ang sales discount. So, kung pananginita, net sales ang ipangayo sa problem. So, ang gross sales ana kay ang 5 million man. So, minus ang 30,000 o niya minus sa 20,000. So, ang net sales would be minus 50. So, 4 million 950. So, again, kung ang iyahang requirement is 75% of the net sales, so, ang net sales kay kani. So, kung na siya, multiplyan ni Moog, 75. O niya, ang, seven, ang answer ay na, multiplyan na sa ni Moog, 2%. So, ang mahimun niyang answer, so, 5 million minus 30 minus 20 times 75%. Times 2%. So, mato akong i-mention gani ha. Ang answer would be 74,250 kung net sales ang gipangayo. Pero kung gross sales, the same with letter B. So, based na siya sa tibok nga sales. Ang pasabot mo sa gross is so wala pa yung deduction. Pag may nguntag net with deduction. So, sa letter A, ingon man siya all sales. So, wala man siya ni ingon og net. Okay, so meaning sa tanan-tanan nga nahalin, so muna siya nga nag-base siya sa 5 million, which is the gross sales. But if the requirement asks for net sales or base net sales, ang 
percent of the doubtful account. So, therefore, compute ni mo tong net sales. Okay? If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!